Hallelujah. How's everyone today? Super blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am healed. I am healed. I am glorious. I am glorious. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am wise. I am wise. I am smart. I am smart. I am highly favored. I am highly favored. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am healed. I am healed. I am strong. I am strong. I have long. I have long. Fruitful. Fruitful. Healthy life. Healthy life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Today. Today. I will listen. I will listen. To the word of God. To the word of God. Therefore. Therefore. I will be blessed. I will be blessed. You will be blessed. You will be blessed. Everybody will be blessed. Everybody will be blessed. Beyond measure. Beyond measure. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Everybody say. Amen. 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 Thank you, brothers and sisters. Welcome them. Tell them welcome today to the family of God. I'm blessed to see you again today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is a miraculous God. Amen? Amen. And I believe this year, 2018, more miracles will happen. We have received several miracles, healing, answered prayers, Amen. new jobs. Amen. Amen, QJ? New jobs, promotions, salary increases, Amen. favor from the boss. So many blessings came in our lives, even in our church in this year 2017. Now 2018, we expect more. Amen. And it's amen. amen. Because God is a progressive God. Amen. He puts you on one level, He will move you to another level this year. Amen. Another level of anointing, amen. another level of prosperity, amen. another level of joy and peace, amen. another level of wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Amen. So we'll continue to increase as we remain with Jesus. Amen? Amen. I believe that 2018 will be another explosive year amen. of blessings. Can you hear some amen? Amen. amen. Lord, give Him praise. Another explosive year of blessings and miracles. Amen. We, we heard so many healing miracles. Praise amen. God. 2017. So in 2018, we... We're expecting more. Amen. 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 Double, triple, even ten, ten folds. Amen. Praise yes. you. God has no limit. Amen. 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 Okay, let's open our Bible in the book of Mark, chapter 5. Mark, chapter 5. I'll be reading from my Bible. You follow me. Verse 21. Praise the Lord. When Jesus had again crossed over by boat to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him while he was by the lake. Then one of the synagogue rulers named Jairus came there. Seeing Jesus, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, My little daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and leave. So Jesus went with him. And then a large crowd followed and pressed around him. And a woman who was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. And because she thought, or she said, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately her bleeding stopped. And she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once Jesus realized that power had gone out from him, and he turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding against you, his disciples answered, And yet you can ask who touched me. But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and, trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. And Jesus said to her, Daughter, what did he say? Your faith, your faith, has, healed you. your faith has healed you. This woman has been bleeding for 12 years, for the past 12 years. She went to many different kinds of doctors, specialists, many different hospitals. 
expensive hospitals, maybe even to some quack doctors. <laughs> but she didn't receive her healing. You know, sometimes we depend so much on technology, on doctors, which is good. You know, ginagamit din, God is using them also to uh, heal people and cure people. So they are useful also, to the doctors and, and the other medical uh, practitioners. They are useful. But when this woman reached the end of the line, where the doctors, she went, said, I cannot do anything, I cannot do anything, I cannot do anything, I cannot treat you, I cannot heal you, I cannot treat you, I cannot heal you. So she was very hopeless. What is your present situation right now? There is always hope in Jesus. Amen. 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 Whether this is physical healing, in the area of finances, Amen. relationship, Amen. salvation, whatever is your need, whatever is your desperate need, there is only one final healer. And his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Come on, give him praise. Jesus. Is the doctor of the doctors. Amen. 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 He is the healer of the healers. Amen. Whatever is your problem. But little here, we, we saw that the problem is healing, physical healing. We have heard so many miracles, testimonies about healing this 2017. I cannot tell you everything, but so many. Even I myself, I experienced two healings. Amen. healings. Amen. I myself. And then the other sisters and relatives and so on and so forth. By praying and using the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Just one word from Jesus and you are healed. Amen. Amen. But we need to use our faith. Amen. We need to believe that Jesus can heal us. Amen. Jesus is our final healer. Amen. In the area of finances, who needs money? Amen. 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 We come to Jesus. Amen. 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 Jesus is our provider. Amen. You need money, you come to Jesus. And he will tell you how the money will flow into your life. There are conditions. There are ways and means on how we can be blessed financially. It's all written in the Bible. If we serve and obey the Lord. You'll spend your days in prosperity. Yes. And your years in pleasure. Amen. Amen. Prosperity and pleasure means you are not living from paycheck to paycheck. You are living in abundance. Amen. You don't think about money anymore. Amen. Why? Because God has provided many ways and means on how the money will come into your life. Amen. What's the condition? First condition. Serve and obey the Lord. Amen. Of course, servants will be blessed. Obedient children will be blessed if we obey the Lord. Who wants to be rich? Amen. Amen. Want to be rich? Amen. Serve Him. Amen. You know, most people try to find riches from many different places. I need to work 9 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. I need to work overtime. I need to have part-time and so on and so forth. But go to the source. We go to the source of blessing... And if we go to the source of blessing, then He will open many channels for you. Amen. But you need to go to the source. If you go to the source, the source, which is Jesus, will provide angels and people to help you prosper in your life. We go to the right direction, the right source, like this woman. She went to many different doctors, but she was not healed. Anyway, for the past 12 years, 
She's been bleeding and bleeding, you know. It, it's a very difficult situation. But when she heard about Jesus, that Jesus heals, Jesus performs miracles, she believed. Amen. Do you believe? Amen. Amen. Even if you don't see Jesus, you believe. Amen. And you will receive and you will see the glory of God in your life. What did Jesus say? Martha, Martha, I told you. That if you believe, you will see the glory of God Amen. in your life. Amen. Do not doubt. Amen. Believe. Amen. Believe. When you practice believing over and over and over again every day, every week, every month, year after year after year, you keep on believing. You're practicing your faith. You're practicing your way of believing. It becomes a way of life. So any need that comes into your life because you know how to use your faith, you know how to believe, you know, it, it becomes easy. It comes easy. But there is no struggle. Hello? Sometimes we are attacked by doubt and then we struggle and then kinakabahan tayo. Will it come? Will it come? Or not? <laughs> it will come! Amen. If you don't doubt. Amen. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of timing. God makes all things beautiful in His time. Ecclesiastes 3.11 But it will come. Anything we need will come. You need a house. You need a car. You need money in the bank. You need business. You ask from Jesus. You fulfill the requirements. And then they will all come. He has made everything beautiful in its time. In His time, not your time. Amen, baby, Amen. In His time, He makes everything beautiful. Amen. In His time. Some of us are, you know, we, we are so in a hurry. Oh God, oh God, bless me, bless me, bless me. When it didn't come for a week or two, you, you forget your faith. Forgot your faith. So you don't receive from God. It takes some time. <coughs> Well, we need to stand using our faith, stand on the Word of God, stand on believing in Jesus Christ, and everything we ask. Welcome! Amen. Amen. Anything, else, salvation of your parents, welcome! It came already, Amen. because you're believing, right? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Anything you ask from the Lord, welcome! Amen. Amen. And while you're waiting, don't cry. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Not oh God. Yes, God, praise God. Yes, God, praise God. Not oh God, oh God. <laughs> Amen. It will come. I've been a Christian for more than 30 years. Subok na subok ng Lord. God is proven. Amen. Jesus never fails. Amen. Come on, give me praise. He never fails. He will not fail you. Anything you ask. This, this coming of the tourist visa here in Saudi Arabia, you know, it's impossible for them to, to open Saudi Arabia because of Mecca, Mecca. Right? It's impossible for them to invite tourists. But even from a few years ago, before I said to myself, before I retire, because I'm about to retire, I'm matured now, praise God. I'm very mature also. <laughs> Not yet old, I'm just mature, filled with wisdom. Amen. So a few years before my retirement, I said, in the name of Jesus, I can go in and out of Saudi Arabia without any visa problem. Amen. Amen. I keep declaring it, declaring it. It's impossible, impossible. No, 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 it's not impossible. The Word of God said so. Amen. Amen. The Word of God said so. I can go in and out of Saudi Arabia without any visa problem to take care of my beautiful children. Amen. 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 I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Amen. I will be with you. Amen. 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 Now it's about time for me to retire, praise God. February 5 is my last day in my work. Aww. Secular work. But I continue to work and stay here. Work for the kingdom of God full time. I'm happy now. Amen. Happier. Because I'll be full time in the ministry. Me and Pastor Richard later on. We'll visit our different churches, established churches in different places. Amen. 
But I will be here in the spirit and physically. Amen. 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 I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Amen. I will be with you till the end of time. Amen. 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 God answered the prayer. Amen. He put a new prince. Amen. He put to jail those hindrances. Amen. So that he can put a new prince who will declare that we will open Saudi Arabia for Christianity. Amen. And we will offer the visa Amen. to his visa to everyone. God can move the heart of a king like a water course whenever he likes it. Amen. He said in the book of Proverbs. Can you see how impossible it was five years ago? This country is totally closed. But because of the prayers of His people, praise God, God can do a drastic change in a country because one person prayed. Amen. You see this? I can apply for visa and go in and out Saudi Arabia, praise God. Praise God. And see you here, what are you doing, huh? What are you doing, huh? <laughs> are you attending Bible study? Huh? To discipline you, praise God. Amen. I'm just kidding you guys. Anything to say, I'll be here. Amen. 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 God opened Saudi Arabia because somebody, his people, are praying. Amen. Amen. In a little while, they will announce that Christianity is now open here. In a little while. Amen. The tourist visa will be issued starting March 2018. Amen. Just right time for me. Amen. Oh, Mr. Henry. Now, do you believe in Jesus now? Amen. <laughs> do you believe in Jesus now? Amen. Amen. Unchangeable. Amen. Untouchable. Amen. Immovable. Amen. That's Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Our God. Amen. We have so many prayer requests that we receive so many answers from the Lord. Amen. So many answers from God. This year, 2017. Anything you need, you come to Jesus. Amen. Don't come to the wrong place. Come to the right person. Amen. Come to the right person. Look at this woman. She came to the right person. She came, she, she went to many different doctors for 12 years. She's been bleeding and spending and bleeding. This woman might have been broke already. No more money sick for 12 years and you, you go to a specialist doctor, they are very expensive, you'll be broke for 12 years. But praise God, in just one snap of a finger, Jesus healed her. Amen. Jesus healed her. Are you getting this? How Amen. powerful Jesus is. Amen. He's so powerful, praise God. You talk to Jesus every day, Lord, and then tell him what you need. Anything. In His time, those things will come. Amen. Amen. 